Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us again on this great day. That It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. I don't know how it is where you are right now, but I'm at the point now I want to take my whole desk, pick it up, and move it outside and work from the parking lot. It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina, but I will thank you all for joining us here today for the family program Sock Talk. On behalf of our director, Colonel Nicolette Dennis, thank you for joining us today. We're going to, we have so many different subjects and topics going on, and we spend so much time talking about, excuse me, the soldiers and their spouse employment and so on and so forth. But today we got something for the little soldier, the future soldiers, something just talk about something we can do for our military kids. And who better to talk to about our military kids than Miss Michelle Tran. She's from our military kids. She's the director of the combat injured program for the OMK. So without any further ado, oh, just a quick reminder, this session will be pro is being recorded and will be available on YouTube. And I'll send out the URL after the end of this conversation, after the end of this session. But Ms. Tran, the floor is all yours. Thank you so much uh, for having and inviting us um, to this shop talk. Um, so um, as James mentioned, my name is Michelle Tran. I am the director of our combat injury program here at our military kids. And I'm going to be talking to you about our grant program. Um, so our military kids is celebrating our 20th year this year. Um, and throughout our 20 years, we have provided 88,000 grants totaling $32 million. Next slide. So what we do is we provide grants for extracurricular activities to children of deployed National Guard, deployed, uh, deployed Reserve, as well as post 9-11 combat um, injured service members. And um, these grants help to build the child's self-confidence, enhance family wellness, and strengthen a shared sense of community uh, for these families. Next slide. So every year we survey our um, previous year's grant recipients. And some of the next few slides will showcase uh, the, some of the key findings from our survey, our, our most recent survey of our 2023 grant recipients. Um, and one of the questions we asked our families is if their child had experienced at least one or more psychological stressors due to their parents' um, deployment, with two thirds of our deployed families indicating that their child did experience at least one or more um, psychological stressors due to their parents' military service, and the top three symptoms were crying and de depression, acting on aggression, and attention difficulties. Next slide. But participation in grant activities can help improve the child's mental health, with an overwhelming 86% of our deployed families indicating that uh, the child's stress levels, um, there was a reduction in as they got involved in their extracurricular activities. Next slide. And these um, and our grant uh, recipient families indicated uh, that they um, made friends in their activities, um, found a sense of community, um, and and their children were able to connect with a mentor, um, which oftentimes with their coaches or their instructors at um, their martial arts students and so forth. Um, so um, it, it really forms a community for these families. Next slide. So how the program works. Next slide. So we cover a wide range of activities such as any sports program. So that includes baseball, field hockey, basketball, baseball, martial arts, any fine arts program. So dance class, music lessons, um, voice lessons, um, camp. So um, as you know, school is coming to end. Um, so uh, a lot of families are applying right now for um, day camps or overnight camps for their children to participate while they're on summer break. Um, STEM programs, we also cover um, uh, tutoring services with an individual tutor or organizations like um, Sylvan Learning Center. Um, we also cover things like Jarvis education and SAT prep classes for older children. Um, we uh, in um, school trips, we actually have sponsored uh, band trips um, to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, and um, our grants um, are up to $300 per child per grant. 
Um, and um, next slide. So the eligibility criteria for our program. Um, so the child um, must be at least um, one years of age um, and uh, through 18, not yet graduated from high school. So once they do graduate from high school, um, they would no longer be eligible for our program. The child is um, dependent of a National Guard or Reserve Service member um, who was deployed for at least 90 days um, in support of, specific, of a named mission. Um, so applications can be submitted um, once official orders are received up to 30 days prior to the report date on the orders. Um, so we do uh, provide grants for overseas deployments as well as stateside activations. And so for deployments that are at least 90 days through 179 days, each child or dependent um, can receive one grant up to $300. Now for deployments over 180 days or more, um, each uh, child can receive two grants um, to, uh, for the deployment. And so applications uh, for um, the first or second grants can be submitted at the same time um, if they would like to use the, um, the grants um, at the same time, or they can be used at the beginning of the deployment or uh, for the later part of the deployment. So uh, they can use it at any point in time as long as the orders are not expired. Um, and the uh, applications can be used for the same activity. Um, so if they want to use it for um, summer camp, you know, for YMCA day camp, um, that can be pretty expensive. They could use it uh, both um, $300 grants towards that, or they could use it, let's say for piano lessons, the first half of the deployment, um, and then for the second half, they wanted to use it for gymnastics. So it's completely geared to its, um, what the families uh, would like their child to participate in. Next slide. Um, Michelle, before we move on, just a quick question sure. to get some clarification. So I'm reading this right here, but the mobilization, 180 days or more, two grants, up three hundred dollars, and for the mobilization less than excuse me, from ninety to one hundred and seventy nine days, one grant per child. Now, the question would be, what happens if the soldier returns from mobilization? How long after they return, if they were not wounded? Say, for instance, I uh, I mobilize. Mm -hmm. I'm Sergeant Cowser, and I mobilize. And my family get involved with this. I'm on 180 day. I'm, I'm on a one year mobilization. Mm -hmm. I've been mobilized in May. Well, I'm, I'm mobilizing, say, for instance, July. Coming back around in June, my family began this program you know, for a summer camp. Mm -hmm. But the second part of it does not take place until after July, after I return. Mm -hmm. How long? After I return, are my family members still eligible to receive this grant? Or are they eligible to receive this grant if I return and not wounded? Over? So uh, we go by the, the, the expiration date of the orders. So if the fam family applies for the grants, let's say on the last day of the orders, even though that the activity occurs after, you know, the family returns and so forth, that is completely fine. Then you would still be eligible for both those two grants as long as the orders are, are not expired and current. Um, so, um, and then after actually, um, we do give some leeway towards the end of the deployment. So um, if there are, if it's within 30 days of the expiration date of the orders, uh, we still do process the grants. Great, because that that's, that's great to know. So the key thing is, as long as they start the process while the soldier is still actively on orders. Correct, correct. So yeah, we would do it up until the very last day. And you know, once again, we do have a 30 day. So 30 days past that you know, um, end date of those orders, we would still process um, any um, uh, uh, applications for the family. Okay, thank you. I'll go to the next slide now. I got my question answered. So in order to apply, we have a very simple application process. You can visit our website at ourmilitarykids.org, where we have a online form that families can upload uh, the verification documents. So we do need a copy of the service member's individual mobilization orders. Um, and uh, we ask that the families do redact any social security numbers on those orders. 
We do not provide grants for AGR rotations um, unless the service member is um, deploying in support of a named mission for at least 90 days. Uh, we also do not provide grants for um, training orders or PCS moves. Um, we do need a form of documentation uh, for the child showing that they are dependent of the service member. So whether that be their uh, birth certificate or DD 1172 form um, or a screenshot of um, the service members uh, listing dependents um, in Milk Connect or Deers. Uh, lastly, we need documentation that shows the cost of the activity. So whether that be a brochure, flyer, invoice, registration form, a screenshot from the website showing the monthly tuition rates or weekly costs of the activity. Now for um, individuals such as a individual tutor, uh, we do need documentation that verifies um, that they are qualified to teach students in that field. So whether that be their teaching license or teaching certificate or their bachelor's in education, we would need some um, documentation that shows their qualifications. Um, and so um, applications for second grants uh, for the deployments that are over 180 days, um, we only require the cost information. You do not have to submit um, the orders again or a form of ID for the child, just the cost information. Um, and the application will ask whether this is your first or second um, grant for this deployment. Uh, next slide. Okay, second question, sorry. Sure. So. If I have a camp, if I'm I'm mobilized for hundred for two hundred, excuse me, for a year, mm -hmm. and my and my family member finds a camp, let's say that's five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. could they get request both vouchers at the same time and pay correct. for the entire camp? Yes, correct. So you would submit one application up to three hundred dollars. Then you would submit a second application for two hundred dollars to cover the remaining balance of the uh, camp. But it can be run simultaneously. Correct. Yes, you can submit it right after each other. Thank you. Um, so um, eighty nine percent of our deployed families indicated they they would not have been able to afford their child's chosen activity or would have caused financial strain without our military kids. So this really speaks to um, volumes of how needed our program is, as well, especially with um, family budgets, usually extracurriculars are the first line item to go. Next slide. So what to expect once you submit an application to our uh, program. Um, completed applications are processed and um, mailed within 10 business days. And each child will receive a top secret award packet that contains a uh, congratulatory letter, a personalized cert award certificate, dog tags, and an OMK patch. The grant check is um, made out to the service provider um, and is included in this packet. And um, we ask the families to hand deliver that directly to the organization once they receive that. Um, if they do have to mail it, we do suggest putting some form of tracking because um, you don't know how many times um, that the uh, check has been lost in the mail or lost within the organization's um, office as well. Next slide. So activity grants um, help families feel appreciated and foster a great connection. 90% um, of our deployed families indicated that they felt appreciated after receiving the um, grant, um, that the activities help maintain a sense of normalcy for their families, um, and that it fostered a connection between children and service members. We've heard so many stories where um, the families in the, um, indicated that, you know, it really helped uh, the children bond with their uh, service member parent. Um, they shared what they learned in their classes, um, showed, you know, what's, um, and showed them what new skills they've learned. Um, so it really is a great bonding experience for both the, the parent um, and child. Next slide. So we also have a military family support uh, professional resource page, which is a one-stop shop for um, resources like our digital flyers, email and social media templates. Um, we also uh, provide a monthly newsletter 
um, that links to resources and information and updates to our program. Um, we share some stories about some um, of our grant recipients um, and any up upcoming opportunities. Um, so you can scan this QR code here um, and sign up for that newsletter. Next slide. Yes, and just so everyone knows, as you all know, not only would I send a URL out for this uh, presentation, I will also send out a copy of this slide deck. So if you don't scan the, U, the a QR code right now, you will have plenty of time to scan it once you get your email with this slide presentation as a part of it. And so that is our program. So um, if anyone has any questions um, at all, you could definitely email us here at OMK Inquiry at armillitarykids.org or call our office if you have any questions regarding, you know, um, if this activity is eligible or um, anything like that. Um, you can also visit our social media pages um, to um, keep up to date with our military kids um, program opportunities as well as stories from our families. And thank you so much um, for all for having me. Um, if anyone has any questions at all, um, please let me know. I know I can't be the only one that had questions. Okay, there we go. Colonel Dansby. I didn't actually have a question, but I just wanted to say thank you because I talk about you guys when I go out to do my um, briefings. I, t I tell people that, you know, I talk about you and you gave me a lot of more touching points to me to talk about. So thank you. You're very welcome. And thank you so much for, um, you know, speaking so highly of our program um, and referring families to us. Um, we really appreciate it. And we, um, you know, always love to hear, um, you know, people praise our store, our, our organization. So thank you so much. Yes, I, I thank you too, uh, Colonel Dansby, because I got your information from Colonel Dan's because mm -hmm. I knew this was a great program. I knew somebody come in. I said, wait a minute, that'd be great, especially when summer just coming. New soldiers are mobilizing daily. So thank you, Colonel Dansby, for providing this information so I can get in contact with Miss Tran. Colonel Dennis. I wanted to say thank you as well. Mr. Counsel, you asked all the questions that I had, but I wanted to give a shout out to um, our military kids. I actually had the pleasure of meeting um, Yvonne Freeman. Yes, yes. She yeah. is our director of our um, deployed program, actually. She's out this week, so that's why I'm in her stead right now um, providing you with this information for our, our uh, deployed program. Well, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you all so very much for your partnership, and we appreciate you, and hopefully we'll continue this um, partnership. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Colonel Dennis. Does anyone else have any other questions at all? Now, now I know Dr. Daniels got at least one or two questions. She keep one. I think it's fantastic uh, what you're doing. I want to say thank you as well for kids who deployed. And I think we received ours through, does it also pay out in, um, MWR. So our kids uh, experienced deployment and MWR uh, allowed us to up to about $300 worth of uh, free sports for our boys. And so it made a world of difference. Um, you know, again, very grateful for that. And, you know, experiencing multiple, I mean, they did T-ball, tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boys tap dance and, uh, you know, so much more. So uh, there was no limit on it. If MWR was offering it, uh, FMWR, they, they, you know, they covered it. So I thank you for that. Um, did you have any uh, particular thing that you'd like us to do as staff to further or better advertise? Because I know one of the things we weren't, I wasn't really aware of is that you all covered the SAT and driver's, le driver's lessons for, for teens. So that's fantastic. Yes, not many people, um, you know, are aware of that, actually. Um, but, you know, for the older ch children, um, you know, um, who, you know, maybe are participating in high school sports, um, you know, um, you know, necessarily, um, you know, those activities are really, you know, what, what motivates them, you know, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we actually just covered I didn't realize how expensive driver's education was getting these days. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, in some parts of the country in California, someone submitted, um, you know, the pay, the cost information, it was a thousand dollars for a, a team to attend, you know, both 
portions of, of the program. So, you know, we definitely uh, offset that with the $600 for two grants. So, um, you know, this, the, it, um, you know, truly help them financially. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you again. Wow, oh, thousand dollars, and they still can't drive in California. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, do anyone have any other questions for Miss Tran here? I know I can't be the only one that was curious about some of these programs. Yeah, and if, if anyone has any questions at all, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we would gladly um, answer any questions you all have. I do have one one more additional question. Do you have like have that's like a flyer or like trifolds for this program? We and if do. So, if so, can you send me an electronic version of that? Oh, to myself or Colonel Dansby, we both work right. I work. I can see our office from my, where I'm sitting. What we can do is we can get these these flyers out to our family program professionals in the field. Also, mm -hmm. that way, face of bottling, we can inundate it with the information. So the way the more they know, the more they can show, and yes. the more that we can grow. Exactly. So, yeah, if you guys can all just keep refer, you know, you know, spreading the word about our program to your families. Um, we just updated actually our um, logo here. So this is our brand new logo. We just launched it at the beginning of May. So it's just one month old or so. Um, so we have new um, um, digital flyers with the new branding that I can send to you all that you can distribute to your families and staff. Outstanding. Colonel Dansby. I just, is that on your website and in, in your monthly newsletter? Because I do get those things. So if it's on there, I can just go there and, and you won't oh, have let to be me bothered. double check and okay. see if this um the new uh we just I um uh, because I have your old update. stuff, but if you have new stuff, I'd like to have that. Yes, let me double check if they've updated it on our website. Um, because we I know that we just converted it the other day. Um, but if not, I will email it out to um to Mr. Cursor, um, and get Cowser. Cowser, sorry. She threw my name out there on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but I'll make sure that get, you all get that. Thank you. So, does anyone else have any questions of Miss Tran here before we bid her farewell? Yes, it even works in California, Miss Jackson. Yes, it's a nationwide program. So, you know, well, that's good to know. <laughs> any basically, it's geared to um, any service provider organization within your community. So, your local martial arts studio, your local gymnastics studio. Um, so, um, you know, even for families in rural Montana who want to take horseback ride, riding lessons from a local farm, they can use this grant for that local farm. Yeah, and it gives that parent that's home with the with the family a break. Correct. It's like a risk. It's like risk be care for the parent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, they have that one you know couple hours a week or so um, that they can get you know their stuff done. Okay, so does anyone else have any further questions for Miss Michelle Tran from our military kids, the director of combat injury program? Well, you all know me. I take silence to be golden. So, Miss Tran, I truly, truly thank you for taking you. I know you're traveling or you got some things going on right now. You'll be ripping and running. But thank you for taking your time out of your busy day and your busy schedule to impart this wisdom upon us so that we can pass it on to our customer in the field and better either advertise your program or support your program with the soldiers and families of the Army Reserve. Yes, thank you so much for having me. And once again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Outstanding. Ma'am, do you have any further, any closing remarks, Colonel Dennis? No, but again, just thank you. I am so very happy that um, you had the opportunity to, to come in and share this moment with us. So thank you so very much. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yes. Take care, all. Thank Take you. Take care, y'all. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So again, thank you all for joining us. And I will see you again next month where we have some more information to help take care of some further more families and soldiers within the Army Reserve. Remember, Shop Talk is the second Thursday of every month, 12 o'clock Eastern time. It's recorded, put on YouTube, and I send the URL out to the community. Thank you all for joining us. Again, thank you, Michelle, for, for doing this. And 
We'll see y'all next month.